Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Vashan Brown. The government has announced that it is closer to securing the integrity of public boards. The composition of public boards was called into question following reports of corruption and nepotism at state-owned entities. TVJ's Andrew Laidley reports. The government reeling from reports of mismanagement and corruption at state-run entities and forced to address the issue in many cases by conducting reviews. Finance and Public Service Minister Dr. Nigel Clark now moving to ensure that the integrity of boards of public entities are maintained by putting new laws in place. The regulations that govern public bodies, the amendment to those regulations that will improve public body governance in Jamaica will be tabled by the end of November of this year. Dr. Clark noted that a major part of the new regulation is to have continuity across political administrations. Measures to ensure that the boards of public bodies have a staggering component to ensure that the board is not purely overturned on the change of administration, that a minimum of a third of board members in an in a, in a administration are carried over to the next. Public board directors will also have to undergo increased scrutiny where their professional qualifications are concerned. Everyone who is appointed to a public board will come from a, a pool of persons who whose qualifications, or lack thereof, have been verified. So persons who have gone through some amount of diligence. Jamaica has approximately 190 public bodies. In the past, Dr. Clark has noted that this creates an administrative and governance challenge. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News. Chief Executive Office of Grace Kennedy Foods International, Andrea Coy, has been appointed Managing Director of Grace Foods UK with immediate effect. That post was previously occupied by Phil Cross, who is no longer with the company. Grace Kennedy noted that Grace Foods UK had made distribution gains in supermarkets in its second quarter. However, it said there was a decline in sales for its flagship nourishment brand. The company says that is being addressed by new and convenient packaging to be launched in the first quarter of 2020. Currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $138.66. The Canadian dollar is selling for $106.24. The pound is costing $175.48, while the euro is going for $154.89. The JC index gained 629 points today, while the junior market index is up 57 points. Among the winners were Jetcon Corporation, SSL Venture Capital, Main Event Entertainment Group, MPC Caribbean Clean Energy, and Dermont Trading. On the losing side were Paramount Trading, Epley, iCreate, Mayberry Investments, and Jamaica Broilers Group. And that's the Business Day. I'm Vashon Brown. Good evening.